Hello everyone, my name is Benedikt Mersch from the Photogrammetry and Robotics Lab at the University of Bonn. I would like to shortly present our new work on self-supervised point cloud prediction using 3D spatial-temporal convolutional networks presented at CALL 2021. Let us assume we deploy our self-driving car into an unknown environment. In order to safely navigate and to avoid collisions, we need to make predictions of surrounding traffic participants based on what our sensors perceive. In this work, we tackle the prediction with a bottom-up approach. Instead of first detecting and tracking objects in the past and then predicting their future motion, we first predict what the sensor is going to see in the future. The prediction is therefore not carried out on an inferred actor-specific representation, but on the raw sensor data. The task is illustrated in the figure below. Given a sequence of p past point clouds, we want to predict the next f future point clouds. This approach does not rely on a perception system that can produce misperceptions if the object has never been seen during training. Our method does not require any labels, map or pass pose information and can therefore be trained self-supervised. This allows to evaluate and fine-tune the prediction method online when running in unknown, real-world environments. From the past sequence of point clouds, we first generate a range image representation with a spherical projection. Note that in case of rotating LiDAR sensors, this is the native representation of the data. Next, we stack the 2D range images along a third temporal dimension. We jointly extract spatial and temporal features from this 3D volume by applying 3D convolutions in our developed architecture. After decoding, one network head predicts um, a volume of future range images. We also predict a valid point mask that classifies if a pixel belongs to a valid point or not. This is needed to mask out areas like the sky in the range image, since there are no corresponding LiDAR points. After masking out invalid points in the future range image, we can reproject them back to the 3D space. The architecture needs to achieve a sufficient receptive field between encoder and decoder to predict the future motion of objects in the range image. However, downsampling in the bottleneck architecture leads to lost details and lost small objects in the predicted future scene. We therefore investigate the use of skip connections between the encoder and the decoder and experimentally show that they help maintaining details in the scene. We also propose the use of a circular padding across the left and the right image boundaries due to the circular structure of the range image. Our experiments show that this leads to more consistent predictions for objects at the range image boundary. We train our network with a fast-to-compute image-based L1 loss between the ground truth and predicted range images. The valid point classification is supervised with a binary cross-entropy loss. After this, we fine-tune the model with an additional camphor distance loss. In our experiments, we compare our approach to several baselines and show that the proposed method achieves a lower camphor distance, especially for larger time steps. For more details, please have a look at the paper. Here I would like to show you some qualitative results. You can see the past and future range images, as well as our predictions for Kitty Odometry Sequence 8. At the top, we show the ground truth range image, below is our prediction. Row 3 is the raw range uh, prediction before masking, and row 4 and 5 illustrate the ground truth valid point mask as well as our predicted mask. You will first see 5 received past frames and then our 5 predicted frames. The LiDAR frequency is 10 Hz. In this example, the car is driving straight with a bicycle in front. Whereas the prediction of static points follows a rigid body transformation, moving objects like the bicycle have their own relative motion that needs to be inferred. After five pass steps, our prediction of the static environment around the car as well as the movement of the bicycle are successfully predicted for five future steps. This image shows the corresponding 3D point clouds for the previous scene after reprojection. Red is the ground truth, whereas blue is our prediction. One can see that our method is able to predict the future 3D structure of the static scene as well as the motion of the bicycle in front. 
For more details on our approach and the experiments, please have a look at our paper. We also released the code on GitHub, including our best performing model. Thank you for your attention.